All right. Uh, today we'll be working on a flash drive that just arrived in the mail. Uh, looks like somebody already did some sort of work on it. There's a couple of them actually in here. Um, from what I recall uh, during the conversation with the owner of this device or whoever sent in this device for recovery, they said they meant they uh, tried to f repair the connector on the unit already, but that didn't bring any good results. So they actually supplied uh, some spare flash drives for like a NAND swap in case we have to do it. Um, I'd like to have that option available, um, but I don't think we're going to need to actually go that far. It's been super strange. Recently, I've been getting a lot of um, flash drives based on this Chips Bank uh, CMB2099. It's like several of them a week, and prior to that, I haven't had any in like the longest time, so very interesting. Well, looking at this, um, look, looking at this unit here, I can tell for sure that there's some some troubles um, that they were going through. <laughs> looking at the um, circuitry, I mean, like that's not supposed to look like this. The controller is missing legs. That's that's not uh, that's not good. But looking at the circuitry, overall, it's not very complicated, and uh, it seems to me that if we wanted to, we could just pretty much re redo the connections and even though that those two um, headers are missing on the controller we can attach a small gauge wire directly uh, to them to make the unit functional what I'm not sure about is the the main cause of the problem why did it stop working in the first place. Did it stop working because the connector broke off, which isn't surprising to me? Or did it stop working for something else? And as uh, part of the troubleshooting procedure, uh, previous uh, person who attempted the recovery managed to uh, put more damage on it. That's something I cannot answer without uh, taking certain steps in order to um, rule them out, right? Uh, connector job is essentially something that is very, very easy to do, and um, in in this situation, I mean, we could take a donor, disassemble it, take the memory off of it, reball it, and put it on the uh, um, on the uh, donor board. Um, but that's something that we can do after, uh, right? Like that's not uh, something, that's not an option that's just gonna disappear um, for us. So what is the least uh, invasive, straight to the point, straight out route to get data off of this device? Looking at this here, even though it looks like a mess, it's still not messy enough to say, uh, let's scrap this board. Uh, with the pads that are left, uh, we only have the ground, right? So it's, that can come off of there. Uh, this via position here is going to be our power. Um, here's the... Like, I'm not... Sh here's the things that I'm not sure on. This is black wire. Usually black would mean that it's a ground. There, in the package there was a red wire that is loose. And that red wire is seemingly stuck to the uh, ground. So uh, essentially what I don't want to end up dealing with is having uh, a connector replaced on the unit that has already dead controller because it was overloaded, because ground and power, power were misplaced. Um, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and fire up the fume extractor. It will get pretty windy in here, so the sound is not going to be as good, but 
Um, if you have any questions or if something isn't clear, just drop that in the comments below and uh, I'll be happy to answer. So first things first, let's remove all the unnecessary junk that's on the device. Clean the, the device itself. Wrap it for a new connector and uh, a little bit of rejuvenating. Like I don't like how uh, these capacitors are sitting. I'd prefer to redo those. And the uh, component set that is on this side, I'm not gonna touch it. Seems like they didn't touch it really. So it seems to be all original. Let's just assume for a minute here that uh, the original problem with this device was uh, simply related to a broken connector. And uh, if that was the case, we will get this thing going momentarily. Some people would be scared by looking at this and they would say, what the hell did the previous place do and blame them for this unfortunate disaster. But honestly, I've seen way worse and this isn't too big of a deal to deal with and uh, very easy to uh, to bring back to life. So we only have a ground pad left from the whole set of pads, which is better than nothing. I'm gonna use a brand new connector for this. I'm gonna take off, take off all the extra solder that's on there. it's not looking too bad so um, next we're gonna mate the connector to the board Uh, more or less secured. Uh, so we have this header come out to this pad and this trace, which is turns out to be on this side, runs down, comes down to this pad here. That pad connects to this header on the controller. Yeah, getting more flux in that spot would be a good idea. And um, tinning it out also would be something that is worth doing. So the wire I'm going to use uh, is going to be fairly thin, it is isolated, I don't have to worry about starting a fire anywhere.
So this is our work of art. I'm go back there and plug that in. And shortly after we get general U-Disc 16 gigs going to, uh, let's just view it in a hex. There's the data. So as you can see, not every case needs a chip off procedure, not every case needs uh, a NAND swap. Um, sometimes just going back to the basics and repairing the circuit is the easiest possible thing because uh, with that device being so generic, I wouldn't be surprised if we opened up the uh, donor components, even if they did come from the same package, could have found out that they were totally different on the inside and uh, the swap purpose would be off the table in that situation. So if you guys have a problem with a flash drive or any other type of digital media device that you need recovery for, check the link in the description and uh, request our services there. If you have any questions, don't forget to post in the comments below. For those of you who are uh, not new to this channel, don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.